Hi. Welcome to my first stupid idea of the summer. I just finished a huge shift and me and a couple of buddies were like, you know what's a good idea? Let's ride to Moraine Lake in the middle of the night, despite there being bear warnings up there. I intended on having a nap for like an hour, but it turns out I hadn't had anything ready, so I've been packing my camera bag and trying to find all my hiking gear that was packed away for the winter. So I've run out of time and yeah, I leave in, I leave in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna make a coffee and get on the road and taking you with me. I'm so excited, but I'm also just, I just wanna to go to bed, but I'm gonna go shoot some Astro with my new camera, it's in the bag there. And then shoot sunrise and just have a bit of fun. Oh yeah, let's get it. What are you doing? Hey buddy. <laughs> Just going out there with these idiots. <laughs> Stupid things we're gonna try. <laughs> what you got there, buddy? I don't think the glue is possible. Well, I don't. I don't like your attitude. I think you can do it. I mean, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I can stick that in my backpack. There, okay. Is that gonna support the weight, though? Yeah, I'll be fine. It's all right. We need some hockey straps and we could strap it to you. That's what I was thinking, like strap it around his waist <laughs> and your chest. So we can have like a thing strapped in. Not actually being any help with this, but Ben's gonna try and take that. I don't <laughs> think the canoe's coming up with this. <laughs> Alright, we'll give up on the canoe. Cool, you can carry your own shit now. What's that? Nothing. Deal. Where'd that pole go? Oh yeah. Right, so we're almost there. It's only taken like a half an hour to ride up with these e-bikes. They're, they're a lot of fun. It's just downhill from here and uh, stars are out. The aurora's out behind us a little bit. Not enough to uh, really shoot that much. So I can't see anything with fucking light. You know what, let's just rip down. We'll go take some photos. Alright, so we finally made it. It is stunning out. It's absolutely still. It's crystal clear. Milky Way's out behind the Ten Peaks. We're just gonna climb this rock wall and uh, go fire some shots. Hopefully get some hopefully get some reflections in the water. Hopefully get the Milky Way reflecting in the water. And uh, we'll really test out the, the new R6 Mark II. And see just how good it is shooting at night. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so pretty out here. Except I can't see anything right now because I've got two torches in my face trying to light my face up. But anyway, let's continue. Okay, sweet. So, I found a frame here. There's a one little tree down the rocks. I'm gonna set up a bit of a long exposure shot here. Uh, gonna change the ISO to about 2,500 to see how this camera handles the ISO. And then get an aim for f2.8 and 20 seconds exposure. Uh, probably have a Kelvin at about 4,200, just so it's nice and blue, really like 
really brings the colours out of the sky. You can't see it because you've got torches shining in my face, but you'll see it when we show you this photo. So if you heard that beeping noise, it's a two second timer so that the camera's not shaking at all once it's actually exposed in the image. That image is pretty much perfect, except for the fact that one of the other guys has got their red light on down the bottom, so I'll shoot another one and yeah, get that shot. It's honestly, it's, it's hard to take a bad photo of this place. You can start to see the 10 peaks showing behind me. Now there's a shot that I've wanted to get <laughs> since I came here the first time, actually. I took this shot with one of my old cameras and it's beautiful and I love it, but it's kind of grainy and shitty and there's still a bit of chance about it, but I want to take that shot, that kind of frame again, but with a newer, better camera. And, um, so what I'm going to do, I see my camera set up behind me. I'm going to put the Bluetooth on my phone, run down the rock pile, and get a shot or two, or probably six or seven. Let's be real. Um, going to go get fire a bunch of shots remotely using my phone. And uh, you know what, I'll take a couple screenshots as I go down. So it'll show you all the settings and whatnot that I used at the bottom there. Okay. Hopefully this turns out to light's a little bit unbalanced now. The sky is really light uh, with long exposures and the ground is still really dark because we're in the valley there. But uh, I might do a little HDR and blend those images together and really, or just see how much I can pull the details out on the uh, on the new R6, Mark II, Mark II, yeah. <laughs> Let's go fire this shot off, shall we? Actually, I'm gonna get one just standard without the, uh, without the figure in the frame first. All right, got my phone. Let's go fire off those shots, shall we? So, I'm actually really stoked with that. I got a, got a couple of shots that I'm really happy with. And now you can see, now you can see the, the mountains behind me. They're really starting to pop out there. Um, so with that one, I made sure to take a bunch just so I can pick and choose and like sometimes I might sway a little bit in an image or whatever. It's, it's better to just take a bunch with digital cameras because you can and it's just click the buttons, go through and check out exactly just to be sure you got the shot that you actually really want rather than potentially never being able to come back to some beautiful place like this. I, luckily enough, I live here, and despite it being a little bit harder to get up here, now that they've closed the road and, you know, just try to manage the tourism, you still wanna make sure you get the shot and um, don't have to come back. So I made sure to take a shot in landscape and a shot in portrait so that I can, yeah, have one, print one, and potentially sell one and so I can post one because everything's fucking vertical these days. I've got myself standing in the frame in the vertical shot, slightly on the edge, just to lead the viewer into the scene behind me, the mountains behind me, and really, really make you feel like you could be here because fuck, you can, you can be here. Just gotta put the effort in. Anyway, uh, while I was standing down there, I did actually find a different composition of just the lake, just purely just the lake. So I'm gonna pack this up and head on down and fire off another shot down there. Also, can you hear all the birds in the background? It's it's incredible being up here with no one around. It's it's really special. Very grateful to be up here.
we break into the lodge and get blind? Yeah. Let's lodge go with it. Yeah. Steal a canoe? I wonder if the fridge is on. Do oh, we just, we'll just put them in the lake. We're not stealing them. We're not stealing them. They... Well, you didn't bring your canoe up. At all. Well, we'll just go for a swim. Let's take... Let's make a canoe. Yeah. Yeah. King. People have been making canoes out of logs for centuries. Thousands of years. Why can't we be those people? I don't even know if I'm recording. Look at the nice face. Oh, that's a really nice shot. Oh. Look at that. So we'd have so much more astro time. Oh boy. Like, the sun's not even supposed to be up anytime soon. Beam blew out for like an hour and a half now. Right? <laughs> Hi. What you got going on? Here? I'm trying to do the vlogging thing, but it just makes me nervous, especially while you're here. And you also have coffee. Mmm. Oh, hey, Ben. <laughs> what are you fucking doing? It's like ready. <laughs> I'm not just talking to myself, by the way. There's other people. Oh, you got some. You yeah, I've been like, recording the whole time. We're just oh, ranting oh. shit. No, that's all good. That's anyway. As you can see, the lights um finally come out. Uh, we're just waiting. Probably got another like 30 or 40 minutes before we get any glow on the mountains behind us. But we're just gonna run around and fire up a bunch of shots. Turns down there. Hey, Ben, can you stand on that rock? No, I'm good. Are you okay? For everyone. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna fire off a couple of shots of Ben sitting down there. Yeah. <laughs> what did he say? He said that could have been us, but I was a bitch. Because he didn't bring in the canoe. <laughs> You're not a bitch, Ben. I'm just disappointed. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. <laughs> You're a bitch. He's a bitch. Whoop. Hello, boy. Oh, shit. Hello, shit. Just gotta get a little closer to him. Oh, boy. This gorilla pod stresses me out sometimes. Not moving. No? Okay. You stay right there. That actually looks sick. Feel sick. You feel sick? Oh, not like. Like you need to poop or like... <laughs> oh, I could poo, for sure. Just, uh, just making a foreground. Right. Because we don't have the reflections that I'm after, it's close very close but it's just not quite there so I'm gonna take this UV filter off put that safely in my little little pouch there and I'm gonna put a 10 stop neutral density filter on with circular polarizer so I'm gonna use the polarizer to take the reflections off the area in the front here and then do a long exposure of probably about 20 or 30 seconds. Yeah. 30 seconds, F5.6, ISO 100. Focusing on this rock here to start with. I'm gonna do a little focus stacking. First of all, on this one just here, We'll let that roll for 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna focus on that rock there. And then I'm gonna adjust the settings because it's really bright up here and I don't have a uh, grad ND with me at the moment. Yeah, this is looking like exactly what I was hoping it was gonna do. All right, I'm gonna adjust the exposure down to 20 seconds. Fire the second shot off, focusing on the rock out there. Just gonna review that real quick. Yeah, that looks stunning. And then, and then we focus right on the end there. These kind of photos take quite a while to actually put together. Oh, that looks stunning. So I'm gonna take all these shots and then compose 
kind of a composite, more of a image stack in Photoshop later on. And I'll show you the image now. So, so this filter is a 10 stop ND. It allows me to do super long exposures even when it's really bright out. I use it all the time. Well, this place never ceases to amaze me. It just, it just doesn't feel real. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna ride back now and uh, go get some coffee and breakfast because I haven't slept yet. See you next time.